All right, I decided to make two videos today. I got a question earlier today about my previous SEO video I made. And that question is, uh, what to do if you can't afford any of the software? Well, my first suggestion is like, ideally, if you wanna be good at this, you should be able to afford the software. However, I get it. And so, um, decided to show you some free options you have. There's many out there, but believe it or not, uh, Neil Patel actually has one of the best tools out there I've seen lately. So if you go to neilpatel.com slash Uber suggest, and I kind of walk you through everything, I kind of make a quick video on how, I'd, how I would use this tool. And so you go over here and, uh, I don't know, we'll type in Bitcoin, for example, obviously I want, uh, United States for this particular topic. And so it's pretty interesting over here. I'll give you a quick rundown of the options. You have keyword ideas, content ideas, overview top pages, keywords, site audit. We're not doing any of that stuff because we're not auditing. We're just doing research on keywords. And so for example, Bitcoin roughly in the United States, 1.5 million search volume, very difficult, 63 people are bidding on it. So it is profitable for dollars, roughly four dollars and a half, et cetera. You see, you see kind of the trend line, the trend line goes with the prices of Bitcoin. You know, that's the big high that we just had in the flat line and it gives you keyword ideas related to Bitcoin, right? And so basically, let's say if you are looking for topics to write about, um, you're not gonna be able to compete against single word uh, keywords like Bitcoin. It's way too competitive. You have old domains out here that have been around for seven years that have 10, 20,000 backlinks associated with it. And so your best bet when it comes to starting a new website, it doesn't matter what niche you're in, is long tail keyword. And so I'm kind of running through this in real time. Let's look at some long tail keywords that we have over here. We can look at the volume and we can look, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's difficulty over here. Uh, so 32, let's view all keyword ideas over here. Uh, this shows you the sites that are ranking number one. Yep, and their difficulty, which is a lot. And so let's go down. I don't know if they export over here. So they only give me the top ones. I want to change that. I don't want to export that to anything. Let me go back and let me see if we can expand no we can't expand can we let me see if i go to expand related maybe if i can spend no i can go suggestion um okay let's export to sv then let me do a quick thing over here all right guys cool so we exported the uh keyword related to bitcoin we got the search volume we got the cpc so what people are bidding on it we got the search difficulty which is really important remember these are free tools they don't they don't give you the same information and data as SEM rush or hrefs which are one of my two favorite tools specifically hrefs but if you're looking for a free option uh, this is a good start and so remember if you're planning to do any content marketing or organic seo uh, for a new site it's pretty impossible, at least in my eyes, not always, but for the most part, any keywords like 35 or higher, and obviously depending on the competitiveness of the bids. Like for example, I'll give you a classic example here. Uh, so we know this is for United States, we're about 60,000 Bitcoin to USD, but people are bidding $6. Uh, search difficulty is 32. Now, even though it's low at 32, with the search, uh, sorry, with the uh, bidding at $6 plus, you're going to be outbidded when it comes to paid traffic and your organic search will be pushed below. But let's look at something better, for example, over here. So the whole idea of what you're looking for here in this basic version here is low difficulty, people bidding on the keyword and volume, right? That's what you're looking for. And so here, look at this. This is pretty fucking cool right here. Bitcoin ATM near me, 19 keyword difficulty, People are bidding about $3.71. United States, you have 27,100 people over here. Now, if I were you, if I were me, I would actually create an in-depth blog content. It would actually be a page. I wouldn't even do a content. I would do a page, Bitcoin ATM near me. The page will have an interactive map on it. I would have every single, I would have every single state that has a Bitcoin in a nice list, and it'll be hyperlinked uh, that when you click, 
the actual city, it gives you a list, sorry, the click the state, it gives you a list of all the cities it has an ATM making sure on the map. So you make a very cool interactive page. Uh, so that's one option. So what you're looking for is obviously when it comes to content marketing, you're looking for looking for content that drives within your funnel. I mentioned this before, you have the uh, uh, mofo, sorry, you have the tofu, mofu, bofu, right? top of the funnel, middle of the funnel, bottom of the funnel. And you want to put keywords that correspond within your funnel. Like top of the funnel is very broad keywords of like, you're trying to castle net to grab everybody. Middle of the funnel is more education, bottom of the funnel, bottom of the funnel is closing. Now Bitcoin ATM near me is kind of the bottom of the funnel. But if you have affiliate deal, for example, let's say you uh, call up these ATM companies or even online, they probably might have some affiliate deal. If you can like drive traffic towards them or something like that, but that's that's a pretty cool keyword I go after. Let's see something else over here. Um, let's look at this. Look at this. Uh, something else that you can look at this. Something. Look at that. Bitcoin dead. <laughs> This would be funny. Like imagine you create a nice cool blog, Bitcoin be dead and talk about how many times they said Bitcoin is dead and create a massive list and take all the snippets of all the media, what they've been doing. It's uh, about 6,600 search volume. People are bidding on it and it's about 21 keyword difficulties. Um, and so that's it. The, you know, these are basic free tools. We can go back over here. There's other stuff that you can do. For example, if we do go back to overview over here, we can then go into top pages. Uh, I specifically know this one, so we can then pop this one up. We can grab that, then we can go here and uh, I think we can go overview. We can put in the domain. So we know Paxwell is ranking for a bunch of keywords. The main score is really good, 78, fucking half a million backlinks. It's a beast. Beast, 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 beast. Organic keywords, only 1,000. It is a beast. And so basically, yeah, good growth uh, for, yeah. So they don't have too many uh, keyword rankings in top three position. Majority of them is actually low. Anywho, what you're looking for is their top ranking pages and some ideas what you can get from them. Uh, Bitcoin wallet, you can look at this. Like, okay, they're ranking for this. Let's take a look at that page. You can see what they have, cool. And so basically what you're doing, you're analyzing your competitors, you're seeing what they're ranking for, you see up there the country, what they have, you know, India, Great Britain, Canada, United States. Let's see what other tools they have over here. I'm actually going through the first time doing this myself on this, so everything's new for me here as well. Site audit, we're not doing that. Uh, let's go back to overview, back to Bitcoin. Uh, other cool thing, th things you can do is related key phrases as well. So let's also get view all keyword ideas. We can then export to CSV. And now we are back. So this is what it gives us. These are kind of related keywords. Once again, what you're looking for is search difficulties. And remember, it's up to you. You got to do your due diligence, right? So once you find a keyword, like I'll give you an example, we'll pull one out right now. I don't know. Some random one. I don't know. Um, let's see. Something makes sense. Like here, this one. What is this? How to get a Bitcoin. 21 keyword difficulty, about $3.94, 14,000. Like, to me, it's plausible. It's plausible to rank for this. Not necessary, but plausible. And so you got to do more information. Like you have to then, you know, let's go back. Let's see if there's any other, you know, what websites are ranking for this, right? So the whole idea is, can we do it from here? Let me see. Uh, keyword overview, how to get Bitcoin, how to get Bitcoin. So Bitcoin.org is a one showing up in SERP, so they're getting high, uh, their first position, give or take, doesn't tell me their positioning. Let's pull them up. And so this is the competition that you have here. You like, you gotta compete with this page. And I don't know if you know Bitcoin.org, but it's a fucking beast. Same with HubSpot over here, right? Uh, look at this. So Neil tells you here, the average web page of ranks in the domain has 140 backlinks and domain score of 88. So even though this keyword difficulty is low, you're competing with a page that has domain rank of 88 has been around since the beginning and it has 140 fucking backlinks on this particular page. So this is a classic example, low competition keyword, meh, give or take, but 
realistically, you're not going to beat that. You're not going to get 140 backlinks and definitely your domain is not going to be 88 unless you buy or rent an old domain that has that type of a domain ranking and has some high level topical keywords associated with the niche and vertical that you want to go afterwards. But there you go. I'm like, play around with this Neil Patel thing. I think it's cool, but I still recommend you check out Ahrefs. I have no affiliation with them. I just love what they're doing. I use their software all the time and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.